Poncho. We got a little work out today, some, uh, some handstand fundamental work. So we'll be doing some shoulder taps, um, plus the view of the wall over here. <laughs> um, the, uh, we've got some split squats and then some overhead pressing. Um, so this is obviously split squats are a little bit of a curveball, but this is a really good fundamental day for uh, some handstand building. Um, I believe the, the supplemental this week is headstand building too. So it's kind of with the, theme. the mindset on the nice big whiteboard. Every day is another chance to get stronger, eat better, live healthier, and be the best version of you. Sweet. Woo! Woo! A lot of excitement. Um, so for the warm up, we're going to be doing. <laughs> this is weird seeing myself in 3D right now. Oh, wow. Uh, 10 by 10 bent over rows, five tempo squats with a three second hold, and 30 and 30 overhead. So I'll go through each of these movements, and then I'll give you a better view of my horrible handwriting here, which was hurried because Ryder thought we were going to do five rounds of that sandbag walk that we just did. Um, so. <laughs> So if you're starters by now, everybody's got some sort of, this is very funny, some sort of heavy object to work with. So we're going to want to get into just that regular bent over row position here to here, find the front pocket all the way down, just like that. So it is 10 and 10. So if you've got like a barbell or a wide backpack or something, you're doing two arms, then it's going to be here. Uh, but obviously you'll go off center five to five if you're playing with a kettlebell or dumbbell. Uh, the tempo air squats. So it's three seconds, but it's three seconds in the bottom. No cheating. So it's going to be whatever you set your comfortable with, finding that nice bottom position. Bottom doesn't mean bottom out, right? I can hold this for three days if need be. This is not the hold of the bottom of the squat. Find that just below or just that power position and go one. Two, Even that's a little fast. Oh my god. Two and a half. This is Stippy. Two and a quarter. Two, three. And then stand up at whatever speed. Put a long hold in that bottom, make sure that we get a little bit of tension down there. And then 30 seconds each side. Just locked out. Nice sexy overhead position here on both sides. So, bring this up to where you can see it. Taking a timer. Ryder's got the better timer. Can you raise the key? Yeah. What's up, Doc? All right, all right. <laughs> What's up, Doc? That's funny. I didn't even mean it as a pun. <laughs> I usually do mean to be a cartoon character. Not right there, though. How many of those squats? Uh, five. five. So it's five, ten. Four, three, two, one. So it's ten total on the rows. Five of the tempo air squats with a three second pause. Thirty seconds each hand overhead.
How's everybody doing? Uh, ironically, this is what Andy just said. Charlie, you do a great Statue of Liberty impersonation. Ah, funny. Viggs, is Phil there? No, he wanted to do something else. And then I made him feel guilty, but he didn't change his mind. We wanted to do something else. Something we got a great sandbag water if he's into it. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing. Well, maybe he'll come out. Everyone says hi. Oh, thank you. Phil says hi. Hi, Phil. Sounds like you're talking about a groundhog. <laughs> Phil said I did a good job making him feel so good. Then he said I was manipulative. Slightly. Crazy. How ridiculous. Did you tell him you missed working out with your husband? Did you work out with him and he stood you up? That's actually, I did not tell him that. I didn't go to the gym. Poor guy. <laughs> Now he feels really guilty. Yeah, they're coming up. He'll be here tomorrow. Adrian also says hi. He had an appointment at 9.30. Why do you make an appointment during the middle of the workout for? That was silly. I know. <laughs> Get more on the table for an hour, I guess. <laughs> So, worse than I am. Is, is Jen the first one done? No, right? No, it's nah, I got the overhead. Come on, that's crazy. Yeah, this is no way. But I didn't leave or get distracted either. You know, if you lay down like this, it'd be a really sexy photo for us to market with. There you go. <laughs> Andy and I did one of those too. Oh, boys. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna take that clip and send to Andy later. Take that clip, send it to that who we spoke about the other day. <laughs> who wants pictures of male trainers? Charlie's done. Charlie's done. That that adds up. That makes sense. <laughs> Our internet connection is unstable. That's somewhere where you said it's okay. <laughs> Picture like that at one of the 
Worlds in Acrobats. Our team name was Powerlifters and Power Bottoms. Second done. This is awesome. People show up Come and they're on, like, Jack. oh, they're a couple of the competes together. And then my wife and kids show up and they're like, <laughs> and they start asking questions. They're like, so. see the mutual government? <laughs> I'm like, what? It's just what we're into. Like, <laughs> That's awesome. Don't judge my lifestyle. All right, are we all done? <laughs> all done. Sweet. Yeah. All right, so for some mobility, let me move some stuff out of the way here. Bring you a little bit closer to the rig. This is where we had mentioned to have a doorway or sorts. So finding a doorway or an entryway, something that you can use uh, to open up that chest. We're gonna start, um, let me show you the three positions we're gonna do here just so that uh, we can be on the same page and I'll give you a couple minutes to complete. First is just grabbing this guy in a normal position like this, stretching out that chest, opening it up, letting this kind of drag from pec down to fingertips as much as possible. That's number one. Position number two is we reverse this grip into what's kind of referred to as the triple pulley. Try to correct that awful positioning that your shoulder, that my shoulder's definitely doing right now. Especially after I to beat it up um, and have it like that. Again, that second grip is like this, the entryway in the doorway. And then the third is conveniently, doorway's also on top. And just get into that overhead positioning. Again, try to keep the close to your ear as possible, just testing that range like this a few times. So again, guys, that's three positions, two on the inside of the door frame, one with a grip like this, one with a grip like this, and then the one overhead, both sides. I'll give you guys about three minutes to get all that done. Any questions? Sweet. Charlie, that's the right position for position two. So just hold that and then correct that shoulder. So that roll that happens forward, bring that guy back a little bit. Lock him in, in a better position. Try to have just an, an amazing posture as best you can. You'll see the more that you upright yourself, the harder that position is, but that's, that's the idea. You should definitely be way better than, like me and Ryder were just talking about how bad we are in this position. You being the gymnast should be able to rock this a lot better than we do. You guys got about two more minutes to work through the mobility movements. About 30 more seconds as you need it. Say hi to Daddy. Hi. I was going to show the whole four positions that they couldn't conceivably do it in. 
you hear that, guys? Ryder wants to be a model. Actually, I was a model. I got some headshots. <laughs> Seriously, I don't know. <laughs> There's a hand in the phone. Just kidding. I have webbed toes. It's really gross. All right. It looks like everybody's looking pretty good. So um, for the demo, I am going to take you guys backwards through time here. Um, I'm going to start with the presses because it's just the least complicated. Um, so for starters, whatever object you might have, uh, we're going to be doing presses and it's 10 and 10 at a time, right? So making sure that we're loaded up. Again, we want to really have this very judgmental position. I want to see this video of myself and see how great myself. Uh, but you want to be biceps and ears. You want to have this rib cage pointing down, no drifting. And have this position any day throughout. Coincidentally, this is exactly what a handstand push-up should look like for those of you that are working on that. Uh, but it's 10 on each side of that. Again, preferably going unbalanced. Charlie, if in the event that you only have an option to do two at one time, I don't know what to work with. I think you had a dumbbell in that bag. But if you are working with something that's only going to allow you two at a time, then just do 20. Um, do 10, maybe take a breather, and then do another 10. Uh, the split squats, you're going to have to aim it down a little. Split squats, this step, I should add the model, this is legitimately bad here, is here. Just sending that straight down again, keeping this torso upright. Right here, splitting down. A uh, couple of different variables you can have here. Number one, if you want to add a little challenge, having a weight side saddle here is a great challenge as well as you go through them. Uh, one of my personal favorites is what's called a Bulgarian split squat. If you have a counter, and you can then make this more with that raised toe in the background sending it down and back up. Again, that's just a way to add a little bit of difficulty if you want to have a little bit, a little bit of added resistance to it. Which brings us to the shoulder taps. So, our model rider is going to do a normal handstand kick up to the wall. This is the hardest option and he's just going to tap those shoulders. He's going to pick up, shift his weight and tap those shoulders and kick me in the head. So if you can see right there, He's just shifting his weight. He's bringing his hips over that extended arm. He's not kicking out very wide and doing touches like that. Go ahead and kick down. That's option number one. Definitely the hardest of the options. The more common way to do the touches when you're practicing is to do it in a wall walk direction. So, Ryder's gonna wall walk up the wall. Not cheating out to where he's got this, this really steep angle. He's still gonna get as close as he can without arching that back. And then he's gonna tap shoulders from there. And you can see he's got a lot more control. He's able to keep his feet together a lot more. Uh, this is much more of a fundamental transfer to an actual handstand walk. Um, so you come down. And then item number three, if you either don't have the resources to get upside down or getting upside down, I think um, it's gonna be in a push-up style plank and just tapping in that direction. Just like that. Sweet. What questions do we have on the movements themselves? Is it Sweet. strict press? It's uh, strict presses? It says presses, so it should be strict. Okay. The, um... Dan, what we're doing? What? Yeah. 12 minutes. 10 shoulder touches, 10 and 10 on the split squats, 10 and 10 on the presses. Cool. We're gonna fire this up in about a minute and four seconds. So run quickly to get your position set up. Wave me down if that's not enough time to do so. Doc, you look chilly. It's cold outside. So 10, 10, and 10? Yep. Yeah, 10, then 10 each side, and 10 each side. Okay. Oh, for the handstand shoulder touches, is it just 10 all together? Yeah, uh, so it'll be five and five because you'll alternate. Just check. <laughs> 12 and Yeah. Charlie, if that seems uh, a little, uh, little elementary for you, you can always walk if you've got the room to do it too. The rest of us mere mortals need to work on fundamentals though. Don't crash. Yeah, don't crash. 
if you do crash into something oh. soft. Sweet. All right. So it looks like we're pretty ready. So right sure going to start you. up the clock. Oh, ready press. Good luck, Kayla. Hope you do well. Four, three, two, one, go. Dan, you really should be on a wall, Miss Dan Walker. Bulgarian with it. Was I doing it wrong? No, no, no. It's, that was nice. That was good. Oh, okay. What you did adds a little bit of difficulty to it. And I, I think it's a pretty functional move. It was really good. I wish a lot more of those during my three laps than I did. Yeah. It makes a huge difference. <sighs>
<laughs> Show off. asking about press versus push press or whatever if that weight is in the heavier range and you have to give it a little hip jolt do it it's going to keep you in a safer spot good talk man. <laughs> good talk Beeks. what'd you say you were asking about what type of press it is it should be strict but if the weight that you're using is a little on the he heavy end of that then if it's you have heavy. to put a little dive in it do it okay like if it's going to keep you in a healthier overhead, then then change the movement to have a little push press in there. Okay, deal. Because sometimes you just got to pee in the sink, Jen. You know. That's right. <sighs> to three minutes to go, folks. Thank <laughs> you. 
Nice, Charlie. Good adjustment on that rib cage. Looks good. Looks good. Final minute, guys. Final minute. Get all those reps in. No quit. Three, two, one. Man, that is harsh. <laughs> that were my alarm. I'd be divorced. All right, folks. So uh, again, commitments to some cool downs. Um, what I'm gonna recommend today is a little scap smash, mostly because. Um, I haven't had a lacrosse ball and I haven't got to do this in a while and I think it's very good for you. Um, so putting this in between the scap and the spine a little lower than I'm able to reach. So right here, putting this guy on the ground. Right here, bring those hips a little bit more tension. Find that spot that's a little bumpy and start to go through some very long rangey, up as high as you can. Reach for your ankles, reach for the stars. Get that done on both sides. Welcome to watching me stretch. The rider doing the same in his, in his square. He's doing his butt version. All right, so. Great job, guys. We'll, uh, tomorrow we got a fun one for you as well. We got duck down so everybody can see me. Uh, but great work, uh, awesome job, and we'll see you guys soon. So count of three: one, two, three. <laughs> Woo! Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.